Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today, we're going to take a look at a 2023 Jayco J Feather model number 22RB. It's got a side slide, a separate front bedroom with a great rear bath, plus an outside kitchen on this guy, weighing around 5,800 pounds or so. It's an awesome trailer. This one's part of the Illuminati, and I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy. Brendan Hannemeyer on the camera today. Say hello, Brendan. What's going on, happy campers, future campers, and fellow salespeople? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. You gotta smash that like and subscribe button. We're putting out sweet content like this all the time. We're also on Instagram, TikTok, and we're on Facebook. Producing some unreal reels on that, so you should check that out as well. We got the blue lights now on. It looks great out here. Right on, Brendan. Front power jack, 30 pound per paint tanks, and you also got a battery in a box location right in behind there, provided by Lazy Acres. Aluminum framing, fiberglass skin. They're putting the front fiberglass cap on the larger J feathers, so the 22 and unders will have just this uh, fiberglass wrap here at the front. We have our pass through storage going all the way through there to the other side. This one has the optional Overlander 2, which is a 200, uh, two 200 watt solar panels on the roof with the built in inverter. Battery disconnect in through there, and then a nice light in through here as well, one on either side. I we think it's 190 watt solar panels. Yeah, times yeah. two? Yeah. We're gonna check it out and get back to you. Either way, close enough, Brendan. <laughs> yeah. Manual jacks all the way around. We have our fridge vent right through here. There's some additional storage here underneath our dinette, which is slick. Goodyear tires coming standard on these Jayco's as well. 14 inch rims, aluminum tires, aluminum rims, pardon me. Uh, sewer drain down there, 30 amp detachable style cord, cable satellite inlet, black water flush kit, city water connection. Now here at the back, there's an outside shower, there's a spare tire. We're gonna put that beautiful Lazy Acre tire cover on there for you. Up on the roof there, you've got your backup camera prep, a roof ladder, so you need to get up on your roof and check your seals every 90 days. Here's the makings of our outside kitchen. Two cubic foot electric fridge, a nice drawer in through here for all your utensils, plus a bottle opener. That's half of the outside kitchen right there. Three step aluminum tread step up and in. And then there's a J port. Basically, there's a bar that fits into here, a griddle that's gonna fit on top of the bar, so you're cooking with gas out through here, manual override for your rack and pinion style slide, freshwater fill, outside receptacle, on-demand Furion water heater, and then check out this awning coverage. Starts right here at the front, goes all the way back, covers the outside kitchen, kitchen window, bedroom window, range hood vent, outside speakers, and then just right here is the other side of our pass-through storage. You can see what I mean by this bar for the griddle, and the griddle itself. Let's go see what kind of travel access we have on this one. Slide out, still close. Coming right in. We've got great access to our washroom there to your left. We can get to our kitchen quite easily and we can get our fridge open about, what do you say, 35 degrees? It's more than enough. 36 degrees? Yeah. <laughs> Which one? 36. All right, let's get this thing opened up. Right on folks, we've got this J Feather 22 RB opened up. You're standing in the bedroom looking back now, past our main slide into our awesome wash. We're gonna get to all that. But over here in the slide, we have a U-shaped dinette. There's a couple optional pieces of furniture you put in here. This is what I would consider uh, the best in my mind, just because we have the U-shape, we can sit down, play cards, eat our dinner, that kind of stuff. Windows in behind, we've got cover space here underneath the dinette. And you'll notice there's no carpet here in the slide. It is a like a linoleum that's finished off. And then right here is your eight cubic foot 12 volt fridge. Now that's working well off the battery and the battery is being charged off the uh, two solar panels on the roof there. There's a drawer in through here. And then flipping over into our kitchen, we have a pop-up counter piece extension in through here, matches the regular countertop, seamless here in the kitchen, undermount plastic sink, and then staying low, we've got a cupboard right through there for your garbage can. We've got a few drawers in through here, the bottom one's a little bit deeper, and then here's our pot and pan drawer down below the oven. Our oven is right here, three burner stove top, the glass stove top cover, nice blue LED lights, range hood, microwave, cups and plates and things like that up in the proper cupboards in through there. Nice backsplash here too, Brendan. I love it. Yeah, finished off kind of nicely in through there. 
kitchen window, tower of power in through here that you can also charge your cell phone on. And then moving into the entertainment center, our TVs across from our dinette, we have a radio open storage here with covered space here in our pantertainment. And then above all that, there's some more covered space here. Now, before we get to the washroom, we got this awesome closet as we walk in the trailer. There's a motion sense of light that I don't have on. Lots of pantry space in through there. And you could also hang up your coats, kick off your shoes, and stuff like that in through there. And then here at the front, or sorry, here's the back part of me, we've got our awesome rear bath we were just talking about. Plastic toilet, lots of space here for the dump truck. We got a spot right there for a toilet paper holder or just to hold on for dear life. Covered space there. Bigger sink, really, eh, for a bathroom? We'll take it. Yeah, like lots of counter space around. Double medicine cabinets, Brendan. For? For all the toothpaste. For double the drugs. <laughs> buddy, I give you, I line you up, but you just gotta knock those ones down. A uh, linen closet in through there. And then into our shower, I'm six feet tall. My head's gonna be here in the skylight a little bit. Nice shower door, but a good space in the shower overall, I would say. And then coming back, down and in through the living space we have our queen bed up front separate off with a nice big pocket style door hanging storage or shelving depending how you want to arrange that on either side usbs and receptacles on either side nice cubby holes with blue lights in, in beside as well and then covered space here across the top bedroom windows on both sides and we do have storage here underneath the bed that's held up by props and then don't forget those nice little drawers that are super handy on either side of the bedroom uh, or the bed itself. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Have yourself a good day.